Hi and welcome to my maths class. In this video we are going to do a revision of grade 10 work covering rational, irrational and rounding off. In the complex number system we are discussed real and non-real. We had further divided real into rational and irrational. Rational is clarified as anything that can be written as A over B. Under that we can get fractions, we can get integers, whole numbers and natural numbers. What we need to be able to do in the section is we must be able to change mixed fractions into the form of A over B and we must be able to change recurring numbers into the form of A over B. Now how do we do the following? Mix numbers. We simply multiply and add. So I'm going to say 1 times 4. Then I'm going to add it to 3. So I get 7 over 4. For recurring we always label it x. Remember, number one, you're going to make it equal to x. Number two, you are going to multiply by 10, 100, or 1000. Number three, you are going to subtract. Number four, you're going to solve for x. So, doing this example, 0, 3 is equal to x. I'm going to times it by 10. So we've got 10x is equal to 3,333. Then we are going to subtract. So 10x minus x is 9x and 3,333 minus 0,333 is going to equal to 3. Then we divide by 9 gives us x is equal to 1 over 3, which proves that recurring fractions can be written in the form of a over b. Next, we are doing rounding off. When we round off, we must always keep track of which number are we rounding off to. Number two, look to your right. If it is zero to four, it will stay the same. But if it is five to nine, we're going to add one. And lastly, if it is a whole number, remember to keep your zeros. Right, for example, 0, 0,53924. Round off to the second decimal. So we're rounding off to the second decimal. Mark your second decimal. Look to the number next to it on the right hand side. It's 9. 9 lies in the category of 5 to 9, which means that we are going to increase the 3 by 1. So our answer is 0, 0,54. Thank you for watching this video.